on this edition of In the Know, we are taking you on a journey through the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from June 1st till November 30th. But that doesn't mean it's impossible for a hurricane to form after that deadline. These are just some of the scenes from the past hurricanes we've experienced this season. We have meteorologist Rhythm Reet to break it all down with us. Rhythm, let's start off with some of the past most impactful hurricanes that we've experienced this season so far. Well, so far this season, we've had about 19 storms that have been named. When we take a look at some of the tracks of these storms, you can take a look. A lot of them did swerve towards the north through the Atlantic, but some of our more impactful ones did impact Florida, including some of those later storms forming further in the Caribbean Sea. So when we are talking about the costliest hurricane seasons on record. Now 2024 may just get ranked as number three. These are still preliminary values and they will be concluded as we head towards the end of the year. But like you said, it doesn't mean that the end of uh, hurricane season is going to mean with just no more storms. We may just have another one brewing and that is going to be named Raphael. What are one of the storms that you can remember from this season that was highly impactful? Which is the one with the longest track? When we talk about the longest track, we have to bring up Barrel. It made its way across three different regions, making three different landfalls as a category four, first in the Lesser Antilles, then in Tulum as a category two, and then finally as a category one hurricane. Now this hurricane came to formation very early in the hurricane season, and it ended up breaking a previous record. It was the earliest category five storm on record. And you know, for a lot of us here in Southern Ontario, we remember this hurricane because the remnants of it made it their way into Southern Ontario and Southern Quebec leading to scenes like this with massive flooding on the highways and roads. I do remember that myself. I was out there reporting during all of that flooding. Now let's move on to the most devastating. Uh, this was the most recent, I believe, too. Well, you are not wrong about this. This is the most recent that we remember in terms of how impactful it was. Hurricane Helene made landfall in Perry, Florida. It brought record breaking storm surge across the Big Bend region. And on top of that, an area like Carolina, North Carolina Busick got 700 millimeters of rainfall. Now this is one of those storms that is going to be the wettest of 2024 as well. And when we are talking about some of that footage coming out of St. Petersburg, you can take a look right here, the massive flooding a lot of folks still slowly recovering from it. And when we compare it to the costliest hurricanes on record, it may just fall between Maria and Sandy. Right now with pre preliminary values are around 88 billion in the cost of damages. And a lot of those values are adjusted for inflation of 2024. So Katrina would be around 200 billion to clean up in 2024. This is some more footage of that where we are talking about the strong winds as it did make landfall as a category for a hurricane and this is just one of the other things that we have to continue to watch as the cleanup is continued. Mm -hmm. The cleanup certainly took uh, quite some time to clean up. All right, let's go back to uh, what we could expect in the near future for our hurricane activity. Well, the tropics are not quieting down just yet. We are looking at additional formation. One area in per uh, particular, the Western Caribbean, looking at a 90% chance of development over the next seven days. Now, the track of this is really dependent on when it comes to fruition. It can most likely head towards a northwest direction impacting areas like Cancun in Mexico or a more northerly direction which can impact the western end of Cuba. It's all going to be dependent on when it comes to fruition and the upper level atmosphere.